Hi everybody, this is Tanya Ortiz. If you haven't, I want you to go to YouTube and make sure you not only subscribe to my videos, but at the end of this video, I want you to hit the share button. I want you to share this on your first personal Facebook page as well as on YouTube if you are a subscriber. Now, um, I want y'all to do something. I'm going to do a video every single day, and this is about daily affirmations. I'm going to be trying to give you guys daily affirmations, and here's why. I don't know if y'all know my story. I don't know if you know my struggle, but I'm going to be very transparent, just like I was when I lost 32 pounds in March. When I started it, I was very transparent. I was like, hey, everybody, I'm on this ACG diet, taking this stuff. I don't even know if it's going to work. I lost 32 pounds, and after I lost the weight, if you go to loseweightwithtanyortiz.com, I actually show you guys how I lost the weight in my transformation, um, and it was relatively easy to do. Okay, and not talking, I didn't do this video talking about the weight loss. First, make sure you guys have paper and pencil, because I do want you to write some stuff down. Again, this is going to be about daily affirmations putting positive stuff in your mind. Now, I'm going to give you guys a synopsis of my story. Many of you who follow me know, a lot of you don't. Now, I don't have, I was, here's the gist of my life. I was basically a housewife for almost a decade. Housewife. That means did not work outside the home. Huh, what did I have going against me? No college degree. No job experience for almost a decade, and I was a housewife. Let's say it again. No college degree. That meant no marketable skills. When you're out of the workforce for almost a decade, you know, people look at you like you, especially if you don't have a college degree, like you don't have any marketable skills. So I had that stacked against me. Um, on top of all that, you know, uh, I have a $2,000 mortgage and my ex walked out of the house. So imagine this. Here I am, a woman, a housewife, someone who did not work for 10 years. I'm in this beautiful home with a $2,000 mortgage and my ex leaves. And I'm getting texts like, hey, you're not going to be able to make it. You're not going to be able to eat. You're not going to be able to survive. Basically, you need to sell the house. A lot of people were saying, Tanya, why don't you sell your home, sell your home, sell your home? But no, I believed in me that there was something bigger than that. You know, now write this down. And I have this. I'm looking up because I have a chalkboard and this is on my, on my kitchen. Okay. This is on my chalkboard in my kitchen so I can look at this. And it says, this is just a part of the journey. This is just a part of the journey. See, what you're going through now, folks, y'all get so uh, caught on the end result. You have to understand, this is just a part of this journey. And I'm looking over because my dog is chasing my cat. It's just a part of the journey. So when I'm going through things, I'm like, this is just a part of the journey. It's like a movie. You know, nobody fast forwards to the end. So just tell me the end. I'm sure there's a happy ending. And most movies have what? They do have a happy ending. This is all a part of the journey. And that's how I looked at my life, that this is just a part of the journey and that people are watching. So I had to start changing my mind because it would have been too easy for me. And that's what a lot of you guys don't understand. It would have been too easy for me to say deuces, just throw in a towel, go out, uh, get a nine to five job and sell the house and say, I can't do this. But I didn't. OK, because I knew that I was a part of a bigger plan. I knew that just like I have showed many of you guys how to dumpster dive and how to chase glitches and how to shop for deals. I knew that if I could get myself out of this situation, that I might be able to help somebody else out that's watching me. OK, so your life when, when you're going through the struggles, just think of this. This is just a part of the journey. So it's like your life is a movie. When you get to the end, you can say, yep, that was girl. That was just part of the journey that I had to go through to get to where I'm at. Now, this is huge. This is huge. This is huge. People have seen me just totally do a transformation in the last seven, eight months, losing 32 pounds, being successful at not one, but two businesses. Um, how am I doing it? Here we go. I want you guys to write this down. Your thoughts 
produce your results. And your life is a manifestation of that. Okay, I'm going to say it again. Write it down. And Nicole Cooper said this this morning. I'm saying it to you guys. Your thoughts produce your results. And your life is a manifestation of that. Your thoughts produce your results. Your thoughts produce your results in your life. Think as deep. And your life is a manifestation of that. See, I was thinking, oh no, I'm keeping my house. I will be able to eat. I will be able to leave, uh, live a good lifestyle. I will uh, thrive and not just survive. So my thoughts had to produce those results because it could have went to the other direction. It could have went to the directions where I was just feeling, woe is me, what am I going to do? I'm staring, staring down a barrel of a $2,000 mortgage with a house and I don't know how I'm going to pay for it. I don't know how I'm going to eat. No, I had to change my thoughts so my outcome could be a manifestation of my thoughts. I had to change my thoughts. See, folks, what many of you don't get, it starts up in here change your thoughts. Your thoughts are a picture of your results. And I know that's painful. I know that's painful. A lot of us don't want to hear that. But like I said, I got that. I got that months and months and months and months ago. I got it. I knew when I was at 5'1", 32 pounds heavier, that my thoughts was a picture of my results. And I had to change my thoughts. Okay? I had to change my thoughts. Now, you reap a harvest of what you plant in your mind. And I want you to write this stuff down. If you don't, if you don't look at anything today, I want you to know that you reap a harvest of what you plant into your mind. See, even on my bathroom mirror, I have, y'all don't know, I have a chalkboard, huge chalkboard in my kitchen. And in my kitchen, it says, this, just, this is just a part of the journey. My life is like a movie, all right? And then on the mirror in my bathroom, I have my Mercedes SUV. I have the figure that I want to make per month. And I have a huge saying on my mirror. So, and that's like my vision board, all right? That's my vision board. So it says you reap a harvest what you plant in your mind. So every day when I wake up and I go to the bathroom, bam, there's my car. Bam, there's the amount of money I want to make. You reap a harvest what you plant in your mind and it'll come out. See, if I if I walked around saying, oh my God, I don't know how I'm going to do this. You know, I, I, maybe I need to get a job. Maybe, maybe the people are right. Maybe what people are saying are right. Maybe I need to just sell my house and, you know, just go get in a small apartment and, I get that nine to five, you know, working, I don't know where, because like I told y'all, I had not worked in 10 years. And I'm at the top of my game in two businesses. Why? Because you reap a harvest of what you plant in your mind. You have to daily plant positive things in your mind. You reap a harvest of what you plant in your mind. So folks, today... This is what I want y'all to write down. You can stick it. Look, I got a lipstick, a red lipstick where I will write stuff on my mirror. Okay. I used to do that all the time until I got this big giant chalkboard. Now I just write it in the kitchen and every morning I'm just erasing. So I want you guys to write that your thoughts produce your results, your thoughts. So when you're thinking those negative thoughts, you have to remember that you're your life is a manifestation of that. So your thoughts produce your results. Be careful what goes through your mind. You have total control. You could change it, okay? And your life, if you whatever you're going through, it's just a part of the journey. And it's like a movie, you know? When you're down, I always say when you're down, when you are down, there is no place else to go but up. When you're down, there's no place to go but up. Now, I was told a story this morning, and I'm going to tell the story that you got to you guys real quick. Uh, somebody told a story that there is a little boy, and he was in archery, and he's, you know, he's shooting a bow, and he keeps missing, he keeps missing, he can't, he's missing, he can't figure it out. And he asked, he got so frustrated, he asked his teacher, why am I missing? And you know what the teacher said? Because you're looking, you're so focused looking at the end, 
at the end result, you're so focused that you're not focused on what it takes to get to the target. See, you're so focused right here, but you're not focused on what it takes to get to the target. And many of you are doing that. You're looking at the end. You're looking at where you want to be, but you're not focused on the journey along the way. So today, I want you to write down, and if it's just a couple of things, you need to look at your life and write down of what you're thankful for, what you're happy for, you know, and just start enjoying the journey because this is all a part of the journey. So there you go, folks. That's my uh, daily affirmation for you guys. I am going to ask that you guys share the video on your personal Facebook wall just because there could be somebody else out there that's struggling, that doesn't know how they're going to make this, make it uh, today. And just maybe my story might help somebody out. All right. So take care. And if you guys want to do business with me, make sure you go to make money with Tanya Ortiz.com. Again, make money with Tanya Ortiz.com. If you do sign up, I'd greatly appreciate it. You guys uh, give me a private message and say, Hey, Tanya, uh, add me to your private Facebook group. Um, we're now business partners. Okay. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.